Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Travel Tech. So in my two previous videos, you just saw the unboxing and the installation of the DDPi Mola N3 Pro dual channel dash camera. And along with that, you saw how to install the very important accessory that is the CPL filter for DDPi Mola N3 Pro. Now, after covering these two important topics, now let's talk about the most important aspect of a dash cam. That is the video quality and clarity the dash camera provides. So DDPi Mola N3 Pro offers a 2K resolution at 1600p and a 1080p resolution at the rear camera. So I got this camera for a few days and I tested it out. So in this video, I'm going to share with you all the details regarding the video quality of this dash camera, both the front and the rear. And is this the best camera under 10,000 rupees, a dual channel camera which you're looking for in the market. So let's get started. So guys, the DDPi Mola N3 Pro front camera provides a 2K resolution at around 1600p and the rear camera provides a 1080p resolution. Now, after trying it out for a few days, I have reached the conclusion that the rear camera quality is a bit tad lower compared to the front camera and the colors are a bit saturated and the contrast levels need to be adjusted as well. The exposure levels are a bit higher in the rear camera. The rear camera is useful if you are using the footage for a broader aspect just to get to know what are the things which are happening behind the car and if any major incidents occur at the rear of your car this camera is the perfect one to record all those details and in case if you're looking to capture some number plates using the rear camera the rear camera video footage quality falls a little lower than that and it's quite difficult to capture some of the number plates unless they are really big number plates such as lorries or heavy vehicles and even some of the cars which have a larger number plates you can somewhat capture the number plates in the rear camera as well but the smaller two-wheeler number plates or three-wheeler auto number plates these are all things which are really difficult to capture especially if they are far away and if the vehicles are quite close then somewhat you can make out the number plates if you actually go ahead and zoom in now talking about the front camera the front camera really excels in the video quality quality the saturation and the exposure levels are proper and especially in the daytime it captures the entire footage very well the field of view is very good and of course regarding the number plate readability as well the number plates are also captured really well the clarity increases the closer you are to the vehicle of which the number plate you are trying to figure out and the farther the vehicle is the clarity tends to come down a little bit but unless overall the front camera is really good at 2k resolution now this is the kind of resolution you should be aspiring for in your dash camera because the front of the car is where all the action keeps happening and if you have a really good resolution like the 2k resolution provided by this camera and along with that if you have installed a cpl filter which takes out all the sunlight glare and the dashboard reflection you get at your hand a really good video footage quality out of which you can extract all the information be it the signboards or the road signs or the vehicle number plates all of this can be extracted really well now talking about the night footage i was really impressed with the night footage of the front camera it provides really good broad view angle of the events that are happening and uh, i should say the exposure levels are quite high and there is a reason for it because it needs to capture maximum amount of light in order to give you a clear footage at night but the drawback of this is due to the higher exposure levels the vehicle number plates tend to glow because of the headlight of your car falling on them and it will be difficult to read the number plates of these vehicles now there is no method to focus the camera on the number plates or no setting to reduce the exposure levels as such but you get a really good picture quality of the video at a broader level while talking about the rear camera at night i think the quality of the rear camera at night is just okay and just average it does not excel at night because it's a 1080p resolution and the exposure and saturation levels are all over the place if you're counting on catching some number plates or signboards using the rear camera at night well it's going to be a really difficult thing because there's no cpl filter as well and the, all the headlight glows that comes from the cars which are behind your car that is going to whitewash the video footage completely the rear camera does offer a lower quality compared to the front one but overall it does a good job in capturing the entire scene that is happening behind your car and the front camera is really good at capturing the bigger picture and the smaller picture as well in terms of reading number plates and signboards while going out on a drive and if you have installed a cpl filter which i just showed you in the previous video that is a cherry on the cake because it takes out all the dashboard reflections and the sunlight glare and gives you a very good video picture 
quality so guys i am really impressed with this camera and at a price of less than 10000 rupees i think this is the perfect dual channel dash camera which you can go ahead for and in case if you are interested in purchasing this dash camera i have provided a link in the description of this video so just go ahead and click down on the description and click on the purchase link you will be redirected to the amazon website and you can go ahead and purchase it and in case if you have any sort of a queries or any sort of a doubts do write down in the comment section below and i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible also guys along with this if you're interested in checking out some other dash cameras for your car and other interesting car accessories you can go ahead and check out the nextdigitron.com website they are the authorized sales and service partners for 70my and ddpi all products you purchase will have one year warranty and also be eligible for service request since they have a dedicated service center located at pune i recommend you to go ahead and check this website out so guys this video has taken a lot of effort and planning to bring in front of you and in case if you recognize that effort make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button of this video and do share this video with all of your friends who are looking to buy a dash camera so thank you for watching guys and until next video see ya